Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall, NorCal, 5, 12, 17 of Friday. Um, how's everybody doing? God bless you. What does today hold, man? You know, what's about to go down? I mean, really, this... I'm going to make a second video after this. It's going to be called the Crazy Train News. or I got some stuff to show you, but I want to get this out. So welcome to the strange but true area of YouTube. And God bless you all. There's a man named El, uh, Elon Musk. He's the CEO of Tesla and the owner of SpaceX. And, and he owns another company. It's called The Moving Company. This guy is worth 15 billion dollars more than 15 billion dollars he's 45 years old and he's he's drilling underground tunnels in la to build a completely underground uh freeway tunnel system uh because it's too it's too populated and congested up in la for him to drive so he's going to make his own freeway underground and they call him he cited as being the the evil genius Here's three different stories on these tunnels. I want to touch on this. So here you go. So yesterday, the reason why I'm bringing this up, this is from an hour ago. So yesterday he 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 uh, he, he uploaded a video, and the, I, I can't play any videos because they're putting ads on my thing. That's not me. It's them. But yesterday he posted a whole bunch of pictures and a short video here's the video right now I will put links or you can just search this just search Elon Musk latest news or Elon Musk video but it, this is a real thing and, and what is really this here, here you're looking at a picture of it and I'll show you another one see this it's almost well CERN is much worse but it's it's not smashing anything it's just a tunnel but I want to talk about CERN next but is that not creepy looking? And so what? So he he, what he named this tunnel yesterday because he incrementally has been adding elements to it and stuff, was is Godot. G O, D O T, D O T like Department of Transportation. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Godot. But I'm going to tell you what, what uh, they're saying it means. It means this tunnel underground in LA let me get my facts right from memory so it's going to go from Hawthorne California initially all the way to the Los Angeles Airport and uh, they have named it the absence of God so going down and I'm telling you I'm just getting the Holy Spirit on me about this prophetically so they're building tunnels under LAX you know they're expected to get a major earthquake down there somewhere uh, they're they're poisoning us from the sky with this whatever's coming out of these jets and raining on us and I'm telling you and so they're all these rich people are gonna go underground and they're calling that area the absence of God so just think about this in terms of like you know the rapture and, and uh, great tribulation and all these things it's like they're, they already know that well I'm not going to heaven might as well build a place to hide like it says in Revelation 6 the great the kings and the great men hiding and hiding and under the rocks and I could expound on that and I don't want to add in CERN here this is crazy I'm not a CERN expert but I do watch this stuff uh, they did a major upgrade I believe it was yesterday quote me uh, if I'm wrong please let me know but I believe it was yesterday they did this major update where they can now you thought they were accelerating fast right now they can accelerate much much more faster way faster on this uh, collider and um, it's set to, to continue going fast till like 2020 something I don't remember the exact date but I want to talk about these this stuff going on with all this digging underground and uh, and the stuff that I'm watching here you know we're all watching for Jesus but this, I mean just the state of the world I mean this is crazy crazy what they're doing to our world and so I just want to stop right here and tell you something so so why I showed you all this stuff is because the Holy Bible it mentions uh, it mentions changing the time and laws and God shortening the time and you know in the Old Testament it talks about the Sun standing still and uh, 
you know, my wife and I had an experience. You know, this is the channel where we'll share things openly, boldly. I'm going to share this experience because I've been looking around the internet and listening to other people commenting and doing searches and stuff. This is being this is being experienced worldwide. So our experience was about uh, a month ago. We're we're driving up to where she used to live. So. So where she used to live from us is a 45 minute drive and it's north of us up in the foothills. And uh, I mean, her mom lived there. Basically, she inherited her mom's home uh, when her mom went home. And when her mom went home, then around the time my mom went home, it was a real trial. Then uh, her brother went home and my brother went home. It was really odd and God brought us through it all. And that's a major testimony. But two moms and two brothers. Matter of fact, this Monday's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Um, we ended up putting the market, the house on the market and sold it. But we still have some family member up there. And so we go up there at least once a week. 45 minute drive up this winding mountain. It's a real, it's a real winding road. It goes by Beale Air Force Base. Your cell phone cuts out every time you hit Beale, and there's no cell service on this road. So we've done this literally going up there. So the reason why I mentioned her mom and brother and stuff is because when I met my wife in 1995, she introduced me to her mom, and we'd been, we've been going up there since 1995. You with me? And so we're going up this. We're going up the same road that we always go up. Um, and I said, "Look at those rocks." But at the same time, my wife said, look at that. I mean, we literally at the same exact time saw something unusual. We saw these huge rocks. I mean, they used to have all this moss over them. And they were, they, they, we're, I'll just put it like this because I don't know how to explain this. We were on the same road we've driven since 1995, but it looked and felt different. And so we both noticed it at the exact same time. And I said, do you feel that? And he, at the exact same time and I was amazed because it wasn't just me it was my wife at the exact same time and on top of that a text come in from this brother David his, his handles bright horizon 777 he sends me a text from a completely other state in uh, in uh, Texas and he said did you feel that shift I mean all three of us feeling the exact same thing in two different states I didn't know what it is so I let it go I didn't know what it was. It's like we were driving down a road we'd never been down before that looked different and felt different, but it was the same road. But I'm wondering, you know, what does all these things I'm showing you have to do with that, you know, and the, the shift. I've been looking up these shifts. And so we came back again last week, and now we're coming down the mountain, down into the valley here where I live. And we look up over uh, the Sutter Buttes. I I'm showing you an image of the Sutter Buttes here. I want you to picture this. You're driving down this road. You've just had an experience you can't explain in words. It was confirmed by another guy in Texas at, at the same exact time. I mean, exactly. And, and so we just had to let it go because our mind couldn't handle, like, wrap our mind around, like, what was that? It was just, you know, sometimes you just put it aside, like, I don't know. You know, I don't want to know. So we're coming down last week. And when you're coming down off of the, the, the mountain and the foothills and you're coming down into the valley, at this certain point, you have a great view of what I'm showing you here, the Sutter Buttes. There's actually empty uh, missile silos up in that mountain and cameras. It's, it's really a creepy area. Witches meet up there and stuff. I mean, this is Sutter County. I'm showing you right here in Butte County. We noticed... Another set of mountains, you see these clouds right here? We noticed another set of mountains behind these mountains that we, uh, picture this, we've been coming down that mountain since 1995 and we see these mountains behind these mountains and we're staring at them. And she said, what are those mountains? I said, that's the Buttes. And I looked closer, she said, no, behind the Buttes. This would be I-5 over here, kind of to the west running this way i fives over here somewhere maybe it runs like this uh west to east but i know it runs true north so it's called north i5 but i'm talking about in this picture and 
And I looked at him and I said, the only, I said, babe, the only thing that could be is the, the mountains on the coast all the way. I'm like, we're seeing the mountains all the way on the coast of California. So when you're driving north on I-5 and you look to the west, yeah, there's times where you can see these mountains. We're talking, I don't know how many miles away. And we've never seen those mountains again doing that same trip over and over. And I was talking to my wife. I was talking to other people. People are experiencing this. And I'm, I don't know exactly what it is. But I think it's related to the end times. The Bible. Uh, time changing. I think these people are, are involved in playing into it in evil fashion. And, and this guy. And uh, I'm just wondering how far we're going to have to go into this. So let me ask you this. I'm going to make a second video. Is anybody else can even understand or grasp what I'm saying about this feeling of something being different like and you're, you're in the same house but the time is different i mean that's what i have to ask i know there's other people and i know you will say but how do you describe what you're feeling in words because it is biblical for a shortened time and and change of times uh how would you describe that to someone if you're going to explain what you're feeling i've done my best let me know in the comments please hit share and like to get this word out there um, and stay safe, Psalm 91.